Hello children, today we are going to continue with our unit number two, okay? And today we are going to learn practicing combining these two tenses, past perfect and simple past. We are going to start now. Let's remember first, last class we practiced using this, the past perfect, okay? Let's remember this one. Remember this is the map okay and this is a part of the story we read before i had never traveled outside the states before i went to ecuador okay so now let's take a look at the rule the rule says we use the past perfect to talk about a past action that happened before another action okay now let me explain this it says here I've never traveled outside the States before I went to Ecuador, okay? So this is previous, okay? Now, look at the examples here. It says, by the time we got to the movie theater, the movie had finished, okay? Para el momento en que llegamos al cine, la película había terminado. Por lo tanto, si yo pongo estas dos, y las comparo, este fue el hecho que sucedió primero. La película terminó. Luego de eso, llegué al cine. ¿Ok? Now, let's look at the next one. It says, Yesterday, I found some old photographs that I had taken last year. Found the photographs had taken. What happened first? ¿Qué sucedió primero? Lo que sucedió primero es this action i had taken había tomado okay that is the previous action and then i found some old photographs y luego encontré algunas fotografías very very important here we have this word that means cuando the word when here it says when we went to the park it started raining cuando fuimos al parque comenzó a llover primero Llegamos al parque, luego comenzó a llover. Pero si yo utilizo esta fórmula, it's different. When we went to the park, it had started raining. Primero comenzó a llover, luego yo llegué al parque. Ok, now we are going to take a look at some exercises here. And what do we have to do? We have to use simple past or past perfect. Debo determinar en qué lugar de la oración yo debo usar el pasado perfecto, que es el que tiene el had, y en qué lugar debo usar el pasado simple. Ok, so let's take a look at this example that says, We watched a DVD when we had finished our homework. Vimos algunos DVD cuando habíamos terminado nuestra tarea. Por lo tanto, la acción que está más lejos en el pasado o que es previa es esta. ¿Ok? Habíamos terminado nuestra tarea. ¿Ok? Luego vieron los DVDs. So, look at the first one. Lara, by the time I at the party. Number two, John, anyone that he a writing competition. Number three, after I, my tours, I, for a walk. Four, when they, the new school, the town, a big celebration. Number five, we, the exam difficult because we, enough for it. Number six, after I, dinner, I, my friend. Now, we are going to check which are the correct options in each of these sentences. Look at the first one. Had left by the time I arrived at the party. Lara had left by the time I arrived at the party. Lara se había ido para el momento en que yo llegué a la fiesta. Por lo tanto, ¿qué sucedió previamente o más lejos en el pasado? Had left. Okay, number two, John didn't tell anyone that he 
had won a rights in competition. Lo que pasó primero es que él había ganado una competencia y no le contó a nadie. Pero esto fue lo primero. ¿Ok? Then in number three, after I, my tours, I, for a walk. After I had done my tours, después de haber hecho mis quehaceres, I went for a walk. Number four, when they had built the new school, the town had a big celebration. And number five, we found the exam difficult because we hadn't studied enough for it. Encontramos la prueba muy difícil porque no habíamos estudiado lo suficiente. Number six, after I had made dinner, I called my friend. Okay, so in these examples, you can see the relationship between the two actions in the past. En todos estos ejemplos se puede ver claramente cuál es la relación entre los dos hechos en el pasado. Cuál sucedió primero y cuál sucedió después. El que sucede primero va a tener esta forma, past perfect. El que sucedió luego va a tener la forma pasado simple. Okay, let's go for the next Look at here. It says, rewrite the sentences in the past perfect and the simple past. Acá debemos reescribir lo que está acá separado por un punto. Look at the example. I read a lot about Hawaii. Then I went there. Then. Luego, entonces. Then I went there. Por lo tanto, this is the action that happened before. I had read a lot about Hawaii before I went there. Now, let's take a look at the next one. Number one, the rabbit disappeared. Then I found my camera. Por lo tanto, la acción que pasó primero es esta. Que es la que debería estar en pasado perfecto. Por lo tanto, by the time, para el momento... O en el momento que, by the time I found my camera, the rabbit had disappeared. Okay? Now, take a look at number two. It says, they had had, bre they had breakfast, then they went hiking. Desayunaron, luego salieron de excursión. So, After, what is the action that happens before? ¿Qué habrá pasado primero? ¿Desayunar o salir de excursión? Think about it. After they had had breakfast, they went hiking. Now, number three. Peter saw the circus performers, then... He wanted to join them. After Peter had seen the circus performers, they wanted to join them. Okay, now in number four says JK Rowling left the bookstore, then I arrived at the bookstore. When? When I arrived at the bookstore, J.K. Rowling had left. Okay, now kids, we are going to do some exercises on our book. Okay, let's go there. Here we are. This is page number 20 and 21. Okay, we did this activity and now we are here. Here you have the rule, ok? Aquí tenemos la norma para crear la relación entre los dos tiempos. Look at here. The penguin died because it had eaten some plastic. El pingüino murió porque había comido plástico. We use the past perfect to talk about the past action which happened before another past action, ok? 
Now let's look at the exercise. Here in number two says, choose the correct answer. En cada una de las tres, yo les doy las dos opciones. Perfecto, simple. Perfecto, simple. So you have to circle which one goes in which sentence. Okay? ¿Cuál va en este caso y en el siguiente? Take a look. Take a look. Take your time. Okay? And if you have any questions, please ask during the class. Okay, boys and girls, bye-bye, see you.